guys, welcome back to the Mary Boozers RC channel. Today we continue our series of RC 101 and getting smart with the ISDT Discharger. This is one of the only items in our little series that's going to be a non-Spectrum branded uh, item, but the ISD Discharger has really helped me. Uh, I, I do a lot of big fly-ins and events where I charge up a ton of batteries and if for some reason we get out there, the weather's bad, the plane crashes, whatever, and I come home with a whole bunch of batteries charged up, I don't like to just let them, although the batteries can discharge themselves, if I've got a whole bunch of them, I'd rather go on and just discharge them really quick, put them on the shelf, and I know they're in storage and they're not going to be any kind of issues. They're safer this way. So anyway, this is a fantastic item if you guys are looking for it. I'm going to show you how it works here momentarily. And uh, I think that these, you guys are going to see that these are fantastic things. They do offer some smaller versions of this also, not just this large one. But we're going to start with the big one. We'll do a separate review for the smaller ISD discharger also. But yeah, let's get down on the bench and show you how this thing works. All right, so here we are down on the bench. I've got my Spectrum Smart Checker. I'm gonna plug this in for just a second so you guys can see. This is a fully charged 2200 3S LiPo battery. Um, what we're gonna show you here is instead of letting it discharge for two or three days with the internal discharger, this also works for 6S batteries, but you know, just for the sake of the video, this one's charged up, it's easy. Um, the discharger comes with, I forget what it's actually called, but it's a smart version of an XT60. All of my batteries use the IC3, so I got an XT60 to IC3 adapter that I just plug into the front. This makes it work with all my batteries. If I need, I can also adapt again. I know this is a lot of adapters, but it's fine for what we're doing. And there it is to do my 6S batteries. So just so you know, going into it, you may need some adapters. Like I said, this is IC3 to IC5. This is IC3 to XT60. XT60 is what you're going to need here in the end. It does have some smart features to it, but I don't ever use them, I'm going to be honest. So, if you plug your battery in, and you push the button, you can see all the little leads come up on the front. So what we need to do now is select what battery it is. It goes up to 8S. Let's see, we want 3S. I'm sorry, I did that backwards. This side is your cell count. There's your 8S, 2S, 3S. This is how fast you want to discharge it for your amperage at the top. So I'm going to select this to go at 20 amps. You can discharge however fast you want. And once you stop, it's just going to go. So I'm going to unplug that again and just do it one more time just to make this a little bit easier to see. So plug it in. You're going to push this one right here. It's going to be the white LED is what you're looking for. You want to select the cell count, which is at the bottom row. Whoops, it started because it was already set up. I wasn't fast enough, so I'm going to do it one more time. So bottom row here, we're looking for the white indicator. We're going to go over to whatever we want. So like I said, the two meaning that that's 7 and 8S. So we're going to take and put the white LED under the 3S. And now we're going to set the purple LED to how much discharge we want. Let's go 25 amps. We're not going to hurt nothing. Don't forget, this is a battery that can discharge very quickly, being that it can be in your airplane. So now it's going to take off. You're going to hear all the fans kick on. And this thing's going to rip and roar. And it's going to count down across here until it's at zero and then it's going to flash blue. So I'm going to let this go. I'm going to let Lori kind of speed this up for you guys so you can see it go through the whole process. And we'll meet back momentarily. And let's set a timer, hair past a freckle, for how long this takes.
there we are. The battery has completely finished. So there it is. Four minutes and 20, <laughs> four minutes and 22 seconds to kill a 2200 3S LiPo battery from completely full. As you can hear when it finishes, you get the audible sound and you get the blue lights flashing across the top. Now, the nice thing is that this should be completely at storage charge now. Let's take and plug it in. Oops, nope, that's the right way. And the battery is still sagging a little bit from that initial pull, but yeah, three, eight, four, three, eight, three, three, eight, yeah, I mean, they're right on the numbers. And like I said, the battery just had one heck of an amp draw against it. It's not hot or anything, but the battery will fluctuate a little bit, but the ISDT uh, counts for that. So it's gonna be really close to perfectly storage charged. And like I said, instead of waiting for my charger to storage charge it, which would take hours, this little thing did it in like four minutes. So fantastic how that works, right guys? All right. So there you have it guys, the ISDT Smart Discharger. Uh, you can get one of these from the link below. We are Horizon Affiliates and Buddy RC who also sells ISDT now. If you decide to get one of these from either one of them, they'll be linked down in the description. If you hit that order button through our link, we'll get a small commission. It'll help the channel. Um, it's a fantastic tool guys. We've really, really enjoyed these here at the Mary Boozers channel. Uh, we do have the smaller version of this also, which we will be making a small video on shortly, so keep looking for our beginner series how-to that we're doing now, and uh, I think y'all are going to really like this. So, if you've decided to get one of these, get out there and fly with your friends, enjoy one of these with your friends, and we will see y'all in the next episode. Bye.